Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Spark 3 Crusher, back at it again with another camp torture test video. And uh, this time, we are testing, let me kneel down, the Mora Companion. And uh, this is the stainless steel version. I hear there's a carbon version. But um, on a stainless steel, it was, uh, I guess it was more easy for me to sharpen. I got a I have a lot of stainless steel knives, but I've I've used the crap out of this knife, guys. Let me tell you, this knife is one heck of a performer. It is not going to slow you down whatsoever. And I know it is kind of a smaller size. I mean, I prefer um, you know the size of the Schrade, the SEHF 42D. I, I like that size. Um, a four or five inch knife but if you want the if you want the price tag of a more of a, the mora but the high quality you know go ahead and get this knife it is one heck of a awesome knife let me go ahead and clean this uh stick up so I can whittle with it but I'm getting all the bark off of this but this is one heck of a sharp knife guys I got this thing and it was just sharp as can be. It was scary. I don't think I ever gotten a knife this sharp before. And I haven't even touched this blade with any sort of stone or strop or anything. And look at that, it's just It's just really digging into this wood here. Let's go ahead and make a notch. And I'm really I'm I'm really putting into this blade. I'm prying up with it, and this thing, this thing won't break, let me tell you guys. I know uh, some of you guys don't like the, you know, how, the fact that it doesn't have a full tang, but even though this is kind of a rat tail or, or a smaller tang, it's not going to break on you at all. So, it, it, it's very reliable. And plus, even if it does break... I mean, if, if you're not in some serious hardcore, like, hardcore bushcraft situation where you have to have it if it breaks your SOL, I mean, if it breaks, it's 20 bucks. So, I hope that if it does, it, it, I hope that when it does break, if it breaks, I highly doubt it will, I mean, you're not in some survival situation. But, I highly doubt this will break, unless you put some, some, you know, obscene stress that you shouldn't be doing to any knife. So, I think this is a pretty good performer, and I don't think you're ever going to have any trouble with this. Look at that notch, guys. That's a, that's a pretty, pretty deep notch. Go ahead. Stab this in the earth. And break it. So, there you go, guys. Alrighty. Making some notch with it. And, um... Go ahead, baton with it, I guess. Let's see if we can baton. Nah, too light. I tried. We're gonna really hit on it with this big, big piece of wood here. And this is not as thick as my shred, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it looks like we got a little worm in here, guys. I don't know what this little guy is. It's some sort of little worm. I don't know if you can see him. Hopefully you guys can see him. Yeah, we're going to set him down to another piece of wood. Hopefully, if we didn't kill them. I don't like to mess with uh, other animals' habitats. I kind of like to, you know, I kind of like to be a uh, one with the animals. That when I'm out here, I don't want to mess mess up their habitats or nothing. But I think it's just a some sort of maggot or a termite larvae or something that we're gonna keep on hammering into this wood here. And you know, th this more knife. 
it's really amazing. I like how it's really lightweight. I, I love the weight factor. I think it's what, 4.1 ounces with sheath? And you can't beat that. That's light. That's almost as light as my Benchmade Griptilian. So, we're going to keep on chopping some wood up. Show you how, how great of a performer this is. Oh, that, if I can, it keeps on. Go get a good. There we go. Well, damn. I don't want it to split off. I want it to go down the entire length of the wood. Oh, it looks like that ain't gonna happen. Wood is so curvy. Yeah, this is splitting off. I don't get what's wrong with this wood. Go ahead and break it off. Try it again. There we go. Split in half. But yeah, I mean, this, this is a really good performer. Unfortunately, when I... It's the first time I batoned with it. It's... With this... With the blade, I mean, this may not matter. This is a personal preference. It, it scratched it all up. And, you know, I have no problem with that. Oh, there's a little bug in there, too. So, I'm going to go mess with them. It scratched it all up, so. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just an appearance look. I mean, I don't want my knives to be all scratched up, but for something like this, a bushcrafty type knife, it doesn't really matter, in my opinion, if you scratch this up. It, 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 it's just it's just a knife you're going to abuse, baton with it, camp with it, you know, do anything around camp with it. So let's go ahead test it how good it is at stabbing. Which the, you know, with the, with the tip so thin, it, it, it's a pretty damn good stabber. Excuse my French, guys. <laughs> but, ah, uh, it's really biting into this wood, so. And, uh, go ahead and whittle some of this inside. And it's just taking off big chunks. So, yeah, guys, you can see that, that little spike. But, yeah, so I really enjoyed this knife. It's quite a, it, this is the epitome of a budget bushcraft knife. If you don't, if you're not, I mean, it's not going to be split in some five inch wood. So, you know, don't really push it that hard. You know, don't don't expect this to, you know, do do as much as like a like an SE5 or my Shred knife. But if for stuff like I was just showing you, chopping up small wood like that, uh, carving, making notches, if if you're gonna be just basic bushcrafting, all you need is this more companion. So it, it it will do pretty much most things that you need in camp with, and that's just chopping up small wood. You know, making some tender. So, I can't complain. For a $20 price tag, and you get stainless steel. I, I forget the, I think it's um something like 8CR13, but something similar like that. I forget what it was, the correct term. But it's a high-end steel. And uh, if it comes razor blade sharp with a nice, uh, it's not Kydex, it's a plastic holster. Uh, so, but it, Kyde, Kydex, it would be a little bit more expensive. But a very comfortable grip. I, I, I really can't complain guys so for 20 bucks that's that's pretty much where you want to be right there but until next time guys you know i'm smart three crusher leave a like comment subscribe down below and i'm signing off